Good day, everyone. Welcome to Prayer Watch. Thank you for joining us today. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Most gracious and loving Father in heaven, once again, you have called us together today to look into your word, to seek your face, and to receive your message for us. We ask, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit will be our guide, will be our light, and that we will submit, O oh Lord, to your supreme will and your purpose for our lives. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless faith, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came. out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, 
not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Praise God for his wonderful words of life from Philippians chapter 2. What is the mindset of Jesus Christ? The Bible urges his followers to have his mindset. In particular, Philippians chapter 2 says that this is vital in their relationships with one another. Verse 5 reads, In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Do you have the mindset of Jesus? Does your church family have the mindset of Christ? First of all, what does mindset mean? Mindset is a way of thinking, attitude, beliefs, and convictions. It refers to one's way of thinking, attitudes, beliefs, and convictions. From the two root words, mind and set, mind meaning the thoughts, and set meaning an established or fixed group of beliefs and convictions that form one's attitudes towards people, towards life, towards God. So mindset or the mind is the sum total of uh, one's way of thinking, beliefs, and attitudes and convictions. Now, the mindset, all of these, form the character of a person. So what is the mindset of Jesus Christ? We can best describe it by looking at two of the essential facets, starting with what is mentioned in Philippians 2. One is humility. The Bible teaches us not to think of ourselves more highly than we ought. Rather, to think of ourselves with sober judgment. Now, in the Tagalog version, it says, Huwag ninyong pahalagahan ang inyong salili ng higit sa nararapat. Sa halip, pakaisipin ninyong mabuti ang tunay ninyong katayuan ayon sa sukat ng pananampalatayang ipinagkaloob ng Diyos sa bawat isa sa inyo. That is from Romans 12 verse 3. Now, this advice or admonition of the Bible is to safeguard his people, his followers against pride, arrogance, conceit, overestimating one's worth, or to guard one from overconfidence, the superiority complex. But this is just now, this safeguarding is about having a truthful, realistic assessment of oneself. No? Itong sinasabi dito ay maging makatotohanan tayo. Huwag tayong uh, maging, o oh, huwag natin, huwag tayong madilude into thinking that we are more than what we actually are. So this is just a call for um, a realistic assessment of oneself. In Tagalog, magpakatotoo tayo sa totoong pagkatao natin. No? But, humility goes beyond that because a humble person is one whose mind is open to the worth of others, whether they be their superior, their subordinate, their peer, or even a stranger. 
and respects their giftings, is willing to learn from them, and obey if needed. So, ang isang tao mababa ang loob ay may kaugalian o may kaisipan na bukas sa um, likas din na kahalagahan ng iba. Ang iba mang tao ay maging kanilang superior, yung boss, ang nakabababa sa kanila, ang mga kasamahan nila, kapantay, kanila, o sa mga hindi nga nila kilala, ng mga strangers, at kanilang idinagalang ang kahalagahan ng iba dahil hindi naman tayo lahat nasasakop ang lahat ng talento sa mundo. No? At sila ay um, bukas ang kanilang kalooban upang matuto din sa iba. At sumunod kung kinakailangan. Now the supreme standard of humility is none other than that which was exemplified by Jesus Christ who, though he was a perfect human being, yet he lived to serve others who were definitely far below him. He was obedient to God the Father who sent him, obedient to the mission of sacrificing his life for the sake of sinful people like us. So, you see, Jesus was perfect. And the rest of humanity were all sinful and grievously lacking in his characteristics. And yet, he was humble. The religious elite looked down on him because they thought they were more learned. The ruling officials taunted him. The penitent sinners came to him and um, the deceived mob demanded his crucifixion but he said father forgive them for they do not know what they do in our relationships with others particularly in the church where our mission is to proclaim the gospel of salvation of Jesus Christ where our ministry is to demonstrate His godly character. We should do nothing out of selfish ambition. We should be as humble or follow at least the, the direction of Christ's humility. We are not to be motivated at all by any selfish ambition. Not to gain anything for ourselves. We are not to do anything um, because there is something we can receive in return, either monetarily or materially or not for gaining power or influence or self-glory, not, um, not attention-seeking, but rather in order, but we, we, we serve and we do things to help others. And of course, with the motive of doing everything for the good of the church, for the advancement of its mission, and ultimately for the glory of God. So that is the uh, first facet of Christ's um, mindset which is humility and the second is obedience to God's laws according to Romans 8 verses 7 to 9 the mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God it does not submit to God's law nor can it do so those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God you however are not in the realm of the flesh but are in the realm of the spirit. The mindset of uh, Christ is that which is motivated by obedience to God, spiritual, you know, spiritual um, purpose and uh, submission to God. 
ang mag-isip sa makalamang kalakas, kalikasan ay hindi nagpapasakop sa mga batas ng Diyos. Subalit ang nasa banal na espiritu ay nagpapasakop o naisumunod sa banal na kautusan ng Diyos. And so if everyone of the believers of Jesus Christ would only strive to know what God commands and what He instructs for godly living and would desire to do so, then being of one mind, having that unity in faith and belief, there should be harmony and peace among them. There may be differences in the preferences on how God's commands would be implemented, on how certain plans will be uh, carried out. Okay? There may be minor variations in our style of doing things, but in principle, there should be an agreement because God is a God of order and God is a God of peace. His laws have been given, His directions and teachings, His desire and His plans for humanity and His plans for the church. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus Christ, who is God, became human on a mission of salvation of the world demonstrated his mindset, an attitude of humility, an attitude of obedience to God. These are the two most basic and fundamental facets of his perfect human mindset. These are also the two most difficult attitudes that, you know, we sinners need to learn humility and obedience to God. We struggle with this moment by moment. But if we, the followers of Jesus Christ, can only start and continue renewing our minds in that direction to work on uh, imbibing this uh, virtues of humility and obedience to God, we would have made a great leap of transformation. Kung ma matutuunan lang natin ng pansin ang pag pa pagkakaroon ng kababaang loob at pagiging masunurin sa Panginoong Diyos, malaking bagay na yan sa pagbabago ng ating pagkatao para tayo ay maging mas katulad, kantulad na ating Panginoon na si Jesu Cristo. May the Holy Spirit who imparts to us the Spirit of Christ enable us. Shall we pray? Most loving God and Father in heaven, that is the prayer of our hearts, O Lord, that we may truly learn more and more and receive more and more your power to humble ourselves before you and before other people and have the willingness, the desire, and the joy to obey you to love you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Thank you, Lord, for the example that our Lord Jesus exhibited throughout his life as a human being. We remember him most especially during this Lenten season, a time for meditating more about you, O God, and reflecting about ourselves, our lives, where we are now, in our discipleship. Thank you so much, O God, for your words of life. Thank you for giving us the key to our transformation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God continue to uh, equip us and enable us to do that which is good and pleasing in His sight.
Goodbye for now, everyone, and I hope to see you again next time.